talking about what you gon' do to me when you fucking bitch. Get up out my mix, Glock 40 with a stick. Stop Yo, what's going on guys? It's TGK Media. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm just gonna switch it up a little bit and do a Ecto Mask transition tutorial. Um, I've been meaning to do this tutorial for a little while, so today I thought I'd put it out and uh, hopefully it'll help you to start making your music videos look a bit more interesting. This was one of the first ever effects that I learned and it, it can really change how your music video looks. So. And once you've done it, you can add your own twists on it. You can make it look different because you don't want to make it look like everyone else's. But I'm just going to show you the basic Ecto um, transition. And you don't have to have Ecto for this. So for the second part of this edit, it's going to be the Ecto uh, like that I will put on the effect on After Effects. But if you don't have Ecto, you can just feel free to leave it where it is and it will still look good. So I'll show you as we do it. So for the sake of this, I've got two video clips. Um, these these are just separate music videos. So obviously, if you're doing it, you're gonna have one music video that you're editing. So this is just Rotation Gang video. So shout out Rotation Gang, they're killing at the moment. So yeah, so you wanna select a frame from the second clip that, that you want to appear in the first clip. And you wanna make sure that the frame's clean cut, which will make it a lot easier to mask. So this one, there's no sort of blur. It's just a clean cut image of the guy. So what you want to do is scroll along with the arrow keys and select the first frame of this clip here. And then once you've done that, you want to select the little camera icon there, click on that. And then you want to make sure that import to project is selected because otherwise you're going to have trouble. And then make sure you save it as pro properly as a name that you remember because if you're lazy and don't do that, you'll, you'll lose the clip. So as for this, I'm just going to put a um, mask just for the sake of the tutorial. So that and then you'll see it appear down here and then what you want to do is drag it onto your timeline and drag it over the clip that you've just taken it from so just right on top like that now once that's done you want to select how long you want it to appear in the first clip so normally i'd go for about three seconds or so something like that three two i, I normally do it like three to five seconds because if you have it in the first clip for too long it just doesn't look quite right so for the sake of this, I'm going to probably put it about there. And then you can always change it depending on how, we, how far you want it in the video. And then you want to drag the image that we've just taken about three seconds into the first clip. And then get your razor tool and cut it there. And delete this clip here, if you've got it here. So delete that. And then as you can see, it will go straight into the second video. So. What you want to do here is some people put a crop on it and i always feel like that always goes wrong for me and for other people it does so don't put don't bother putting a crop just select the video and go straight into the pen tool under opacity and for the sake of this video i'm going to do a little rough mask but normally i'd spend say like 40 minutes 30 minutes zooming in and getting every single little detail but uh for the sake of this i'm just going to do a little quick mask and uh, just to show you how to do it So there we go, once you finish the mask, the background will automatically um, delete itself. So you can see the mask, not too bad, a bit rough, but normally I'd spend more time. And I'm aware you can do this with um, roto brushing, but I'm just doing this for people who are not quite familiar with it yet. Um, you, you, once you've learned this, you can probably start getting into that. But I always find this a bit easier anyway. I feel like the quality is a little bit better. But once you learn how to roto brush, you can you can do it quicker. But if you want quality, spend an extra 20 minutes doing the mask, I'd suggest this way. So once you've done that, you want to click off so you can see it. That's actually not a bad mask at all, to be honest. Um, you can play around with the feather. Um, obviously, the more feather you have, the more of a fade it has. So I'm gonna, it's actually quite a clean mask there. So I'm gonna put, say, five feather. Yeah, that's not too bad, that looks good. So, um, 
I'm going to show you this part if you don't have the Ecto plugin, and then I'm going to show you the second part which you can just add on with the Ecto. It's quite easy. So if you want this to appear, so I want you can have this appear from anywhere. You can have it appear from the left, up, like from the top. I, I always do it from the bottom. So what you want to do is remember this number. So it's at 540 now. So you want to put it down to the bottom. And remember 540 was the number. You want to click here. Keyframe, sorry, I forgot the name of it. You want to keyframe it. And you remember the number was 540. So you want to go, sorry, halfway into the video. And then bring it back up to 540. See, we've got a little appearing effect. Um, maybe I might want to make that a little bit longer to be fair, which I will do. So, as I said at the beginning, you can change it up, you can make it longer, shorter. Um, that was a bit, I think that was a little bit too quick there. So, what I'm going to do is take the keyframe off, put it back to 540, and try again. So, you can just keep it's trial and error, this you can keep doing it until you. you Get, you get it how you want it. So I'm going to redo that. Put it back to 540. Just type it in, it'll be a little bit easier. Right, it's back up to 540. So we're going to do the same again. Is Remember the number, put it down to the bottom. Keyframe it. Go about halfway. And then put it back up to 540. Right, so once you've done that, you can check how it looks. I think that looks really good. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So if you don't have Ecto, which is a plugin that you have to pay for, uh, I think it's Red Universe or something, it's, you have to pay for it. Um, you can still make this look good. So I'm gonna quickly, I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm gonna throw it in here. To make this look good without Ecto, you can add something called a Gaussian Blur effect, which I found. Should be here somewhere. Gaur yeah, so I spelled it wrong. Gaussian Blur, you add this to the mask, and what you can do is you can play around with the keyframes. It's all about keyframing it. So what you want to do is click the keyframe and put the blurriness till right. Put the put the cursor about halfway and put the blurriness on say 26. Well, I've messed that up actually. Sorry. Now what you want to do is undo the keyframe. You don't want to keyframe it to begin with. You want to put it on a blur to begin with. Well, I was doing it the wrong way around. So you want to put it on about 34, that'll do. And keyframe it. Click over one on the arrows. And then put it to zero. And then what it'll do is it will fade in with a blur. And that, that just makes it look a little bit better. What you can do, you can add color effects, you can add a VHS overlay. This is just a really basic sort of mask tutorial, um, but then you can add loads of stuff. You can just glitch it on the, the effects and just add loads of stuff to it. But I think that looks good anyway. That's a really nice transition. So now I'm going to show you how to do it with Ecto, the Ecto plugin. So I'm going to delete the Gaussian Blur for now. So what you want to do is right click on this clip, replace with After Effects. Right, so once you're in After Effects, you want to um, make sure that you can see the mask rising up. So that's all good, the mask is ready to go. So if you've got the Red Giant uh, plugin, you just literally want to go to Ecto on the effects. There you go. You need Ecto. Drag it to the mask. And it should load up. And there you go. You can change the colors, you can mess about with it again. It's all what you want to do, personalize it to yourself. I might put a bit of pink in there. I think that looks pretty cool. So yeah, that, that, that's how you add the Ecto effect. I, I would normally put the distortion to about, say 30, 35. I always prefer a little bit less distortion. And then once you've done that, you got, you'll want to save as and make sure you put it in a stable place. So I'm going to put it into my saves. And you can close it off, but I'm just gonna minimize it for now. Right, come back onto the Premiere Pro and then you wanna render it. Right, so now once it's rendered, that's finished. That, that's that's the, the effect and obviously it looks really good. Um, you can make the Ecto mask a little bit um, wider, but I, I always prefer a little bit thinner, but 
I mean, that, that's, that's the perfect transition there for a good music video. And uh, yeah, so I hope this uh, video helped you out. And if it did, uh, click like, subscribe and uh, leave a comment. And yeah, I hope, it, I hope you learn how to do this yourself. And uh, I hope it was beneficial to you. So thanks for watching guys and I'm out.